in our lifetime on this planet. What together we can do, north and south, east and west, in all corners of the earth. Take me away from home. Show me all the places I've never known. in Birmingham at the Caravan and Motorhome Show. So it's really quiet. So many people here, is there? Okay, it's coming down the the two. I think that's more our uh, cup of tea, didn't you? The one over there? Yeah. To be honest guys, I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> it's too much to see you'd if you came down here to buy a camper, oh, you'd just be overwhelmed. Nice. You go from yeah. one stall to another, you just bounce around. Be like clothes shopping lost. with Claire. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Can we just go back to the first one that we saw? Guys, you know exactly what I mean. This is what they're meant to look like when you don't build them yourself. Ergonomically though, you can see how tight it is inside there. Yeah. Which is why we didn't go for a toilet. Um, the model you see here is £50,000. Uh, it has an underslung LPG tank, 25 litres. It uh, has a HS2000 kilowatt, 2 kilowatt gas and electric heater and it has a world expanse uh, water heater which is gas and electric. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so you can choose, you can have anything as you want, but we do two colour cupboard doors so it's cream or gloss black right. and then you can choose any colour wood. There's two different colour trims so you can have black trim or silver trim. So you can it's got stunning. Have a little bit. All for 50 grand. I knew this was going to happen, we're going to uh, 
come to the motorhome show and Claire would want me to put a toilet and shower in the bathroom into a Freddy. Why not? Why not? Get, get your purse out and just buy one of these. So this is more like it, a bit more of an uh, adventure adventure type exploration vehicle. keeps carrying on about the uh, toilet shower situation. This is going to be our sleeping arrangement. I'm going to be here, my stuff's going to be here, and you're going to be outside. I'll be on the roof rack. <laughs> mm. Alright, if you're on your own. With the rear door closed. With the rear door closed. You can have two or a wee. And a drink <laughs> straight in the fridge. It's a four motion based vehicle, uh, Volkswagen Crafter, uh, diff lock, LED lights, you know, really nice spec. Uh, this is our max track, so we've got four berth and a two berth option. This is a four berth, um, fixed double bed, mattress made in Germany, like really luxury. Uh, rib rock and roll bed as well, trimmed in Westphalia fabric from the early Volkswagen buses. Got a bike garage, uh, hot shower out the back, um, as much storage as possible. How no impressive is that? So, what's the size of the bed? It's six foot three uh, lengthways and 1.45 wow. meters widthways, so nice big ah, bed. Ah, so you've popped Perfect. into the... Yeah, we've made a carbon pod on the outside. Oh, yeah. to make the bed. Yeah, that's a good idea. Well, that's a lot better, isn't it? So as much as you've lifted, as much as the bed's been lifted up, because of the side pods, it gives you six foot three, and room for your toes. So this is a proper all-terrain Volkswagen. It's been lifted, it's been underprotected and sealed, and they've taken inspiration from the old uh, T2s, I reckon that's from. That's an adventure, uh, that's an adventure wagon. Freddie, you might be on your way out, mate. It's a van works. It's a stunning conversion. It's ready to go, guys. So that, that one's, um, it's got four by four diff lock and uh, all under sealed and lifted. They're starting to quiet them down a little bit now. I think the, uh, everyone's got their bargains and are starting to leave, which is good. So we get the whole place to ourselves. Imagine parking these up. Imagine Claire parking these up. I can park them. So what, uh, what van are we in now? I've absolutely no idea. What are we in? Wild Axe Motorhomes. Yeah, that's what you need. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Get yourself one of them, a cheap caravan. You just drive the caravan. Don't drive the caravan. Probably have an accident if you drive the caravan. Take the wheels off the caravan and put it on the back of one of them. Done. Said, I think they've all been designed by a bloke. They are all missing feminine touches. Why well, has Freddie got a? Uh... Freddie has a feminine touch. To be fair, guys, he wouldn't have. He wouldn't have had a uh, feminine touch. There wouldn't have been no teddies in there. The green would have probably been grey. All would have been grey on wood. I don't even think I'd have put wood in there. I'd have painted the wood grey. <laughs> <laughs> And I'd have got aluminium lockers instead of uh, old caravan doors and, and wood, and I would have made it very manly. But um, 
Yeah, that's nice. feminine. And it's got a fixed bed. Oh no, it hasn't. Well, it has. If you're only go. two foot. That's where we have 922. So this is the other layout you can have, guys, with the uh, swivel chair. See, swivel chair, and then bring the seating arrangement forward, and then you can probably have a. It's got a fixed shower. bed. If I want to sit up. <laughs> oh, that's clever though. So it's got a bed that straps to the side. Yeah. Oh, we're in the um. And we're in the caravan hall now. We've completely got lost, so I'm going to go and find 12 volt televisions. Claire's just looked at the uh, Dometic uh, fridge system, and that came in at the cheap price of £750 for the smallest one. So, Halfords, you're lucky you're, uh, <laughs> you're going to continue to um, sponsor the Osti 300. So, where are we now? Lost. Everyone's lost. We're not the only one who's lost. Oh, we're in Hall 20. Guys, this show is massive. A bit embarrassed about my... Uh... What do you mean embarrassed of my... I'm not embarrassed of my garage space. <laughs> Nothing wrong with my garage space. What are you embarrassed of? My Halford's fridge. <laughs> I, thought that was, I thought that was £25. Good investment there. In all, in all fairness, so these are uh, proper fridges, the Dometic fridges, they're very, very low wattage. So, guys, if you can manage to pick one up second hand, then I, uh, I definitely recommend it. It's probably the biggest draw on our electrical consumption, as well as Claire's hairdryer that we um, we use. Oh my God, we're back where we started. Are we back where we started? No. No. <laughs> no, we started. But there's one of them little blue caravans that you really like. How good do they look on a 1969 VW? for five bloody minutes. <laughs> oh, these are nice. We accidentally bought a TV. Pretty cheap as well. <laughs> That's a nice one. You're welcome. Oh, have we? Again, you just end up getting overwhelmed, don't you? Not even very much a muchness, aren't they? They're missing personality. They're missing girl bits, is what that means. for today um, we've had a great time realized uh, the expense of some of those motorhomes um, but tonight we're going to go and find somewhere to stay 
that's just been worth uh, worth the visit. Looking at the little trade stalls and the market type stalls, so that was pretty cool. And uh, as Claire says, we're going to go and try and place to uh, get heads down for the night, I think. But what I have learnt is that I wouldn't swap Freddy for any of the vans that were in there. Why is that then? Well, I found two with a fixed bed, and that's a must now. And none of them had the personality that Freddy's got. He's ours. Yeah. So I'd agree with that. He's part of the family. So, good evening. Managed uh, to get away from Birmingham and we found a little park up on the side of the canal. We're going to stay here overnight. The motorhome show was uh, amazing. But you know, we've just been sitting here and we've been thinking, well, we weren't thinking, we were saying, but as much as their motorhomes, some of them are stunning with the, um, the finishing touches and everything, but all of them were crammed compared to this. Now, I know that they had to have um, a toilet. And shower in most of them that we did see didn't we mm -hmm. to be fair yeah they did they did but yeah they were they were crammed really narrow in the space to walk weren't they yeah and that's a good thing with this van as much as it don't look it looks really messy at the minute because claire's just uh I'm just warming up the bed warming up the bed for me the diesel heaters on but there's a lot of open space in here whereas the others seemed a, a lot more Crammed. All in all, a good day. That was nice. It was nice to have a look around and uh, remind myself that for the price of one of their vans, I could buy 10 of these. <laughs> so that was pretty cool. So, yeah, the show was absolutely massive. But, um, God, some of the stuff in there, guys, you'd have, you'd have spent a bomb, let me tell you that, for nothing. We also bumped into our friends Susie and Lanky. How are you doing? Hi! Lovely to meet you both. Your, maybe your friends first. And they're my friends first. And um, they're doing the van thing as well, so I wish them every bit of luck. I'm sure it will turn out amazing, Lanky. So uh, good luck on that build, buddy. There you go. So we'll see you in the morning. Good night for now. See you in the morning. Well, good morning, and a rather cloudy morning it is. We're still on the uh, back of the lock in Northampton. They're sitting over there, ready with the rolls. goes wrong. Boat life.
1860s, 1870s, so they're 150 plus years old. Wow. Not all of them have been replaced, some of them have. How's that? Amazing. It is amazing. They are, they're built to last. Yeah. They're, you're dropping paddles, so every time you lift you up and down, paddles open, up and go, out it goes. Yeah. Amazing. It's very clever people, the Victorians. See what happens? You get out and about, and again, you stumble across things. Never seen this in all my life. Sixty-three foot. We had a great weekend, the NEC Motorhome Show was fantastic. It uh, gave us loads of inspiration as in, we're glad we've got what we've got. So, for now, I'll leave you with this thought. Sometimes, you're better with what you have. So keep, keep building them vans, people, and uh, we'll both see you on the road soon. Bye for now. Bye.